Ah, we met before, I think, haven't we? Or haven't we? No, maybe not, actually. Or maybe... Yes, we have met on the last day of the Riverside Festival, it was. Hmm. The Riverside Festival? Now that you mention, mention it, I think there might have been a festival going on by that name, yes. Gosh. I don't know if you'll, if you'll get much useful information out of this chap. Oh, I'm sure we will, don't worry. I mean, I can barely remember what I had for dinner last night, but you don't worry about m my state of mind, do you? Actually, did you even have dinner last night? As if that's up for the debate. So, what are you all doing down here by the river? You spot a fishing? Or are you looking for company, is it? Actually, we're looking for a missing cat. We haven't seen a white cat around these parts recently, have you? Yes, I've seen it all right. Really? Oh, hurrah! We found Rex at last. Well, hopefully. Look, it's just over there now. Oh, wait a minute. Where did he go? You're not talking about... That's actually a dog, Mr. Fisher. Hmm. Not to mention it. I'm not sure if it was a cat I saw. Perhaps it was a catfish. Or was it a dog? Ah, looks like we're no closer to finding Rex after all. I think it must have been the stray over there that you heard barking before, don't you? Vagrants are, are you what? Are you Irish, Cheryl? Sorry, I mean dogs. I heard that. All right, leave the apple to me. I'll find out what he's so excited about. That is not even a white dog. Come on. Like I said, always make sure to check the lights. I know I saw something here. Aha! Wait, I knew I saw something. There. I think you have a puzzle for me, right? Yes, you do. Hey, hey, make no mistake. I'm not scratching my head over a puzzle. Never. If you'd like me to solve the puzzle for you, please just come straight out with it and ask for help. Stashen Scarf. Oh, I get it. It's supposed to be a pun on star, on stash of mustache and scarf because he's wearing a scarf. Okay, I get it. Hey, <laughs> solve it for me. Never. But if you're interested in trying out for your own amusement, then be my guest. No need to be shy. Puzzle 50 Ham in the Hamsters. Where here we all ha wait here we have eleven hamsters. If they're all left together with their cage, it's be is being well. Sorry, if they're all left together when their cage is being cleaned, they'll start to fight with each other. So they need to be separated into their own individual spaces using just three enclosures. Select the enclosures and move them around while holding down A. Place them down so that all hamsters will continue on their own. What? Oh! Okay, okay. So the idea, for example, can I, no, I cannot rotate. So, for example, I move it like this. Then I move it like. Oh, sorry. I'm just, just an example of what I understood. And you grab this one. Then the idea is for, for example, you grab this one. And. For example, this hamster here and this hamster here, this... Oh, sorry. Yeah, I think this one here would come, but this one and also this one here would all have their own enclosures. Okay, I get it. Uh, it's gonna take a while for me to figure this one out, though. So, uh, BRB, guys. A few inches later. Okay, let's try it like this now. Let's put everyone here in the middle, uh, or... These guys are on the extremities as much as possible, like that. Then the square. Let's put a square here for now. Man, this. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Aha! So I need to separate these two, these two, and these two. And with a square, I think I can do it like that, right? 
Yes! I've seen how to solve this now. Any mystery or any puzzle solved. Honestly, not that difficult, just... You know, you need to think, see the bigger picture. Ha! <laughs> what a killer image. You did it! They seem fairly calm while they're eating. Perhaps they don't need to be separated after all. Trust me, they do. They're all done. Are you happy now? Hehe, <laughs> so that's the answer. At last. Ahem. At, at last you've managed to do it. Mm, well done. You did just want someone to solve it for you, didn't you? I thought as much. Well, I think they'll have to do so to this dog. Excuse me, have you got a minute? What's happening, Hound? You don't look like you've missed any meals lately. Yeah, yeah, I got fed. Thanks for the concern. Actually, me and my friends here are looking for a cat. Have you seen any around? This place is crawling with cats, Hound. I've run into more than I can count just today, even. But, you, but you're looking for a fat you have a pussy. That's why all over. Well, then, maybe I can help you out. Yes, that's exactly the cat you're looking for. Really? Lucky, huh? Well, Hound, that white cat just went shooting away from the wharf. Look like a cat out of hell, haha. <laughs> Where did it go? Where did it run to? Chill, Hound, chill. It hasn't gone far, but it's in a tricky kind of place. A tricky place. What kind of place? See that huge bridge over there? The cat you're looking for bore out of the wharf and straight onto the top of that. It did? What did it go? What did it go all the way over there for? Well, now, Hound, that would be because of me. That's what all the yapping was about before. I prefer to call it barking, not yapping. You see, when we bolted off the wharf, it woke me up. I was having a sweet dream, Hound, a sweet dream. Then the stupid mog trotted my tail and startled me. And you got angry and chased it. Chase it. Ah, sorry, Hound. Never occurred to me that a fellow can I would be looking for the clumsy mog. Well, never mind. You couldn't have known. Anyway, Hound, what's the deal with you? You honestly got you doing their detective work for them or something? That's rough. Tell me about it. I have no idea how I ended up with you two this mess. I mean, at least I'm not bored, but no one even says good boy to me despite all the hard work I put in. Well, if you ever get sick of being bossed around, you can come, come and hang out with me, Hound. Us three have, co have got a pretty good. It's a dog's life, right? Thanks. I remember that. You take care now. Is everything alright, Cheryl? Yep, I don't know what the dog's name was, but I call him Bingo. He says he saw a fat white cat. Really? That's wonderful. Doesn't know where it went? Apparently he climbed up the top of that tower on the bridge over there. I suggest you go fetch it down before it runs off somewhere even harder to reach. Good idea. Come along then, you two. Let's hurry. Oh, really? The, I thought that was going to be the last part. Oh. Curious. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm curious. But are there cases where there are more or less clues? Like for example, this one here has six clues. All the other cases have six clues. Six clues. Is there one with like seven or eight clues, and another one with only three or something like that? I'm curious about that. Oh, isn't that the? I think this is a stereotype that we think of about London Bridge, right? Tower Bridge. Yeah. Cat! Up there, cat! How did it get my itself all, all, all the way up there? Good gracious! You must help it down at once! What if it fell? Alright, everyone, let's just move really, really slowly so we don't, we don't scare it. Oh. Oh, I just saw the cat there! You found a hint. Oh no! And the fact that our car is passing by would probably not gonna end up well, is it? You think there would be a hint coin up here, but apparently not. Well. Oh, maybe there's a hint coin when the car passes by. No, there isn't. Pity. Probably. Wait. Before, let's see what I have to say. 
Tell the morning to all. My dirty nose for a star led me straight here to the bridge today. I knew some something was up. And there it is. It can, that's what. Now, oh, can we get that poor thing down? Oh, they guys, these guys have a puzzle. Everyone else in London seems to be doing them, so we thought we'd have a go at a puzzle too, but it seems so hard. Yes, it's so hard. Can you solve it for us, please? Uh, I mean, sure. The bus only has three liters of fuel left. It's going to run out before it reaches the destination. There are ten people on the bus at the moment, and you can travel five miles on one liter of fuel. For each person that gets off the bus, you can travel one mile farther. If all the people get off the bus, and two, and two liters of fuel have had, how many more miles can the bus miles can the bus travel? Joy, it's a math problem. Okay, here, just uh, give me a moment. A lot of boring math later. Wait, I just realized something. If there is no one on the bus, how is it going to drive? Because there needs to be a driver. So maybe zero? I swear most of this has been zero. Is this a trend with these guys? It has to be zero, right? Mm, this should do it, I think. And that's how it's done. Yeah, the problem is I kinda not a problem, but the general idea was that oh maybe you need to use math to solve it. Then I stopped to thinking, wait. This game doesn't use math to solve puzzles. At least not most of the time. Is they using some kind of stretched out logic. You did it! If all people get off the bus, there is nobody to drive, which means it can't travel in this at all. Logic. Running on empty. There, does that help? Oh wow, yes, yes, you're the best! Now we can enjoy seeing the sights again. Yes, that puzzle was really doing our heads in. But seriously, is there no echo? Are you freaking kidding me? I pass so- Oh my god, that is annoying. Yep, as I thought, there was a hint coin. How do you get a cat down from all the way up there? Don't worry, Cheryl. There is a simple way to recover things from higher places. Might have a bad feeling about that. Oh, stairs. Okay, for a second there, there was gonna be something stupid like throwing something at the cat. Stack all the boxes to make a stairway with no gaps from the start to the uh, start point at the bottom left to the top of the cliff to the right. People can only climb steps one level at a time and cannot climb steps of two levels or more. Remember, there must be no gaps underneath any of the blocks. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. Press and hold A to pick up a box so you can move it around and now R to rotate, okay. No, let's try like this. This is kind of like Tetris, but way dumber. Or way more pain and gassy. Uh, maybe this one? Nah, that won't work because then there will be a gap down here. No, wait, unless, unless, unless. Ooh. This, this feels right, right? scared I forgot to save but it should be right right 
Fingers crossed, please. Mm, this should do it, I think. Oh, that's not like me. <laughs> Wait. Yes. This is a key to recovering a cat. We can't afford to put it off until later. Oh no. Should have saved. Why? Uh, that is annoying as hell. Thousands of tears later. This is an interesting one. And that's how it's done. What? Okay, fine, fine. I'm cool. I'm fine. Deep. Breaths, deep breaths. No, nope. you know what? Screw it. I'm screaming. <gasps> Why? What I what did was also well, good. Why, game? Why? I hate this so much. Mew, so you're back on the ground. There's a point in mouth moment. Now we just have to certain if this cat really is Rex or not. Of course it is. It is spitting with a photograph at Dubai's place. Hmm. Perhaps, but there's something not quite right. What is your good talking again? Look, it's even got some pieces of snack skin, snake skin, or whatever it was stuck on its fur. You're right, Shrill. You like the skin we found shed in the garden. Well, that eliminates all doubt. Surely, this must be Madame Zubay's Rexy Waxy. Come on, then. Let's get him back to his owner as quickly as possible. Oh, yes. I can't wait to see Madame's reaction. Shall we, shall we overnight? Yes. Um. Gosh, hello there, Miss Tate. If I'm not mistaken, the mere secretary from Guildhall. Fancy bumping to you again. Er, uh, thank you for, um, well, rescuing my cat. I beg your pardon? Did you say this is your cat? It, it isn't Rex? Yes, um, well, no. I mean, this is cat. Well, I can see that's a cat, yes. No, I mean, it's my cat. I just call her a um, cat. Ridiculous name! Oh dear, I hope I haven't upset your dog. No, don't worry, just admiring the name. So this cat is your pet, mistake? Yes, um, definitely. I mean, well, she has a red ribbon and red collar, so I'm quite unsure. I found her at a wharf, you know. I suppose, I suppose that's why she's her always sneaks onto boats. She probably thinks she'll find fish on them. I suppose. Well, maybe. I'm not sure, of course, but... Uh... Well, that will explain what she was doing in the banana boat. So we've got the wrong cat. Uh... Well, we still need to be rescued from danger, didn't we? Yes, um, thank you again. I'll have some uh, stern words with her about sinking out onto any more boats. Yes, I think that would be wise. Gosh, we were teaching the wrong cat all this time. I don't believe it. I was sure we had the original, the right animal. The right animal. Where did we zip up, I wonder? Well, all we can do now is keep wandering around the city and looking for more cats. Great. Hmm, more cats. More cats? The worst part is, I thought I could crack, crack the case. This is a real blow to a for agent show. I hate to admit it, cat, but I think you're right. Gut instinct is what, so is what sorts the dogs from the pups when it comes to detective work. I'm all out of ideas. I think we're gonna need you to act on one of your hunches if you're going to solve this one. Well, aha, perhaps. Wrong owner. Wait. Case complete. Ah, 
Is that your head working or you're, you're good? I think I almost worked out where we went wrong. What do you mean, Miss? For a while now, I had a feeling there's something fundamentally wrong with our investigation. You had a feeling? So it's your gut then. As I said, Cheryl, I prefer to call it Miraculous Instinct. And miraculously, I'm about to pinpoint, pinpoint where we made a mistake. Are you sure, Miss? We better put our heads together, Pinstripes, while her guts, bu guts busy rumbling. If only we were looking for a dog, I could probably have tracked him down. A dog? Ah, that's an interesting point, Cheryl. Madame Dublay never actually said that Rex was a cat, did she? We just assumed that because of all the cat decorations and toys at her residence. You're right! How could we have been so stupid? And with a name like that, of course Rex isn't a cat. Rex is a dog. Iguana! A Iguana? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it makes sense, especially considering that... I can know that that does actually make a lot more sense now, because Iguanas do actually eat plants, they are vegetarian, they love fruit, and the skin that he shed was probably his skin. I thought it was strange for someone who loves cats so much not to have any cat food in the house. But the nibbled plants, the teeth marks on the fruit, yes, it's all unmistakably iguanery. I don't think that's work, but yeah, keep going, cat. But she loves cats, doesn't she? She had all those cat decorations and things as a way of controlling Rex. To stop him finding his way into parts of the house she didn't want him in. In other words, she was using the fact that iguanas dislike cats to contain him without having to resort to a cage. Oh, I'm starting to think I might like iguanas. <laughs> Although, now I'm even more stumped. An iguana could be hiding anywhere. Iguana? Isn't it iguana? On the contrary. If Rex is an iguana, there's only one place he can be. There! We know he loves bananas. There were banana skins all over Madame Dublay's home. So, Rex is on that boat. I'm 60% certain of it. 60%? <laughs> does that qualify as certain? Yeah, I can have a point. Not really. <laughs> oh, great. Understand. I thought the white cat in the picture was Rex. Oh, goodness me, no. Look, Rex's picture is there, underneath that big ugly cat. Ah. Well, oh, why did you run away, you bad, bad boy? I think he had good reason, don't you? I beg your pardon, young lady. Don't you think he ran away because of all the feline trimmings around here? He can't stand cats. It's hardly surprising that he wanted to escape. Oh, but that's because I can't stand the idea of locking my precious Wexy Wexy in a cage. His family, you know. You don't cage family. That would be cruel. Don't you think it's even more cruel to deliberately surround someone with things they detest? Well, when you put it like that, I suppose. If you really love your pet as much as you say you do, you should swap all these cat knickknacks for iguana goods. <gasps> what a suggestion! A 
according to this letter from Madame Dublay, she's seen a great improvement in Rex's behavior since installing all the iguana decor. Yeah, Erna says iguana correctly. What the hell, guys? He's stopped soiling the furniture, and she no longer needs to confine him to particular parts of the house. What an amazing turnaround. When an owner treats her pet right, great things happen. Isn't that right, Cat? <laughs> no, Shell, it's not. Iguanas are just very territorial animals. With all the cat pictures and ornaments changed to iguana ones, Rex feels the house is his patch now, that his territory is established. So that's the reason. Oh, Miss Layton, brilliant as always. Oh, please. <laughs> So Rex was, re was returned to his home, and the Madame Dublay learned to care for her pet in a less oppressive way. Well, for me and my latent detective agency, the success successful re resolution of the case led to all sorts of new inquiries. I say, look at this, miss! Since Madame Dublay told all her rich friends about how wonderful you are, we've got a number of new inquiries. I'll pop all the details up there on the notes board for you, and, and you can choose which you're going to tackle next. Well, it doesn't look like you'll be taking a holiday anytime soon, does it? Yeah, believe it or not, Cat, some people do actually have to work for a living. I'll be glad to give up you all the help I can, of course. Hmm. I really thought I'd be able to solve the Rex case, but it went barking up to the wrong tree. It's unbelievable. It's like the blind leading the blind around here. How do you always mean to stumble to the truth, Cat? I just don't get it. Now, now, Shell. If you think it's a blind leading the blind, perhaps I should be training you to be a guide dog. I'm not training one of those bite yellow coats. <laughs> well, would you like to go out for dinner together before we become too busy with all these new cases? Rather, that's a smashing idea. This is gonna hurt.